We all a long time no see, so how was your that? Uh, it's fun. And you? Yeah, it was good. I did some fishing, some camping, just outdoors sort of thing. Did you do anything exciting? Just kind of with my friend. And okay. I had a lot. I gained five kilos during that holiday. Five kilos? Jai, I am bull. Yeah, I'm not. I'm fat. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I didn't say you're fat, but five kilos is a lot. I don't know how to lose weight. I need to work on day, so I don't have time. That's okay. To the gym? Yeah, no problem. I can show you some actual exercises in the office. In the office? Yeah, in the office at your house. It can be here. Yeah, no problem. Do you want me to show you right now? Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Before we get started, you guys, I just want to mention that I studied nutrition science for my bachelor's degree, and my athletic background is quite different compared to other people. So I know a lot about fitness and exercise and diet. So let's get started. So we're going to start with one of the simplest exercises, and most people know. The squat. Okay, so let me show you a squat and then I'll explain a little bit. So a squat, generally speaking, your legs about shoulder width, your feet a little bit out, and you're gonna come down. You're gonna lean back. You're not gonna lean forward so much, but you're gonna come down, come back up. Come down, come back up. And it's okay to go all the way down. If you have any pain in your knees or a problem, you can come up here too, that's okay. But squatting, coming up, and coming down. You try it. You can go, keep going. Okay, yeah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> okay, you can stop with that. That actually, that looks okay. Yeah. So a squat is a very common exercise and most people know it. And you can squat every day. You can make a small goal. If you just love squatting, you can do that every day. Do 20 one day, 30, 40, 50, 60, 200, 300, because it gets easier. But everyone knows squat, so let's do something different. So the next one, it's called a lunge. So in English, we say a lunge. A lunge is like a big step. So you're gonna step out and you're gonna come down. Yeah, do them right. And then you come back up. Okay, let me change the angle so the camera can see. So V, can you stand right here? So I'm going to be coming down like this. This is a lunge. You can go forward and you can go back. Okay, so with the lunge, you can do it maybe two ways. One, I can step out and I can come down and up or I can step back. It doesn't really matter, but for a lunge, you can do them walking. So. I will do it from here, walking to you guys in the camera. So one right here, one right here, and keep going. So V, you try it. Let's look at your form, okay? Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, but try not to, you don't need to rest your hand on your knee. Yeah. Because then you put your hand here, it makes it easier. Yeah, yeah. So that is a lunge. You want to make it harder, you can put a backpack on. You can hold something right here, you can hold something in your hands. You can hold a barbell if you have weight at your house, but it's not needed. But the thing is, when you're exercising and you want to use exercise for losing weight, you want to exercise big muscle groups. Like your bicep right here is a very small muscle, so it uses very little energy. You need to use big muscles because they use a lot more energy and it uses more calories. So it's better for trying to lose weight. So okay, let me show you some more leg exercises, but we're gonna have to do on the ground. Yeah. It's a very funny exercise, but it's actually a very useful exercise. You can hold it, when you do this, you work here in your butt. You make sure your butt is very, very, very tight. You squeeze it. You can hold it for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. So if this is too easy, you want to make it harder, you can do it with one leg. So for example, I bring one leg here and I come up like this. It's gonna work this muscle a lot. You can hold it 10 seconds, 15 seconds, one minute, or you can do many variations. You can come up like this. You will feel it a lot in your hamstring. And if you're doing it right, you'll feel it in your glute or your butt as well. So V, you excited? All right, your turn. I will help you. So for this, you maybe have your legs right here, okay? So here, you're gonna bring your hips up. These are your hips. And my hand put in way like You can put your hands, uh, if you wanna put them here, that's fine, yeah. okay? Or you can put them here, it depends. Okay. Okay, bring your hips up. Okay, when you're here, hold it, come up. Your butt, squeeze it really tight. Okay, come back down. Okay, come back up. Can you come up a little bit higher? Because you're wearing a big shirt, so I can't see. Okay, so bring it down. Do you want me to show you more exercises? Yeah. Okay, let's do more exercises. Stand up. So, okay, so we covered a few leg exercises, but let's do some basic upper body stuff. Yeah. All right, so upper body, one muscle group that is hard to work out is your back. Um, you can do some back exercises, but you need like maybe like a pull-up bar for, what, he said dung, he said dung. Uh, which we don't have, but that's okay. So do you know push-up? 
So we have the push-up. A lot of you already know the push-up. So we have push-up variations. If it's too difficult for you, you can do a knee push-up. Your knees will be on the ground. I will rotate so you can see it from two different angles. So my hands can be close or they can be wide. It depends on you. Coming down. That is one angle. Do it this way, okay? From here, coming down and up. This is an easier variation. You want it harder? Okay. So we can do it this way. Now your feet up, coming down and up. From this angle, same thing. This is just more of a conventional push-up. You can do it wider, you can do it close grip, you can do it different ways that if you like. For you guys, these are some exercises you can do at your office, you can do at home, you can do at the park. I'm gonna show you guys a couple exercises that are very popular, but they're not really that helpful, especially if you want a six pack or lose weight. So let me show you guys, and thank you so much V for being with me thank today, you. okay? So good luck after that, all right, Nam, Nam Ki? Yeah. So hopefully uh, you lose the, the chubby belly, okay? Yeah, I mean, Okay, so go back to work, I'll see you later. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This is the plank. Many of you know the plank. The plank is this one. And you stay here for as long as you possibly can. This exercise will not get you a six pack. Again, you cannot isolate where you want to lose your weight. It doesn't work that way. So doing a plank is not very helpful and it doesn't use a lot of energy. Doing a squat or a push up is better. Another one, the crunch. Everyone does the crunches. You know, coming up like this, coming like this. Whatever, it doesn't matter. These will not give you a six pack. You don't need to do any crunches, any ab exercises to get a six pack. They're not needed. So for you guys, make sure you're focusing on big muscle groups. Because I know after that, you guys, you're gonna be all bow and bow and ta. You don't want that. You wanna make sure you're gonna be exercising and losing weight because you don't wanna get too fat because you're gonna eat a lot during that. So make sure you exercise. I'll see you guys later. Take care, goodbye.